Hello all, this is five things I like and dislike, maybe even on the point of hating about living in a micro apartment. I think this is actually a really important thing so that people should think about, not just when they move into a micro apartment, but just even a smaller space than what they're accustomed to. Um, yeah, like people talk about micro apartments and they're taking like 500 square feet. I'm in 250 square feet. I think that's actually a micro apartment. Like I've, I've listened to some people like, yeah, I have a one bedroom micro apartment. That's not a micro apartment. You can escape things. There's some things about micro apartments that you have to accept that you just cannot escape. And it's just the reality of your living situation. So the first thing that I do not like at all about living here in 250 square feet is the fact that if I have someone over, I basically don't have space for us. Um, well, maybe not, you know, romantically. Cause like with, with a Murphy bed up, it's doable. Although the seating is still small and like people are sliding off the, um, the sofa and whatnot. Cause it's not necessarily a big sofa. Um, but with a Murphy bed down for when my partner is here, uh, there's not enough space for the both of us. We will bump into each other. Um, we walk into things. It's not fun. So, um, I would say this space is enough for one person. For two people, you you need good communication and you need to really, really like each other. Uh, the thing that I do like about this space is the mindfulness that went into it. Murphy Breads, they're a brilliant idea. They've, they've lasted for a century, maybe even more. I don't know, I don't know the history. Um, also the design, uh, the kitchen area, Aesthetically, it's very pleasing. White countertops, very smart. The fact that this is a fridge and a freezer down there, and then I have a, something on the other side that looks like a very small, well, it is a very small washing machine. It's just, it's, it, it's chef kiss. That, the design that they put in here, it's very aesthetically pleasing. And then the fact that I have my uh, washroom in my unit. I also have in unit, um, uh, washer and dryer as well. They did a really good job about using the footprint to the fullest. So bravo designers. Um, one thing that though about a small footprint is you have to clean and clean very regularly. For myself, it's not that bad. I enjoy cleaning. I know I sound like a freak, but I actually do like to clean. Maybe it's the Japanese side of me. I don't know. Um, but when but when I have my big window open, the fact that there's construction happening on the other side, a lot of dust will get in. So basically I should be cleaning. If I wanted to have this place nice and clean all throughout, all throughout the week, I should be cleaning every other day. But it only takes like 15 minutes max to do that, to do the vacuuming in the space, to be wipe, wiping the countertops, even doing the bathroom. All it takes is 15 minutes just because I don't have much to clean. Actually, that, that is my thing that I like about it. <laughs> I like that it doesn't take long to clean. So that's my like, the fact it doesn't take long to clean. All right, um, something that I hate because you can't clean it is the smells. Um, when you cook in this space, you have to cook something that you're gonna be fine going to sleep with. So I haven't, you know, been cooking like Indian food or anything spicy. Um, and even with um, bodily functions, there's some things that um, that will permeate throughout the space. Uh, even with a washroom that has a closed door and a fan, smells get through. So smells, I, I've heard other people talk about this, and I think it's universal. Uh, if you can smell, you won't, you have to be really considerate about, um, if you really want to live in a micro apartment, if you don't like smells. Um, one thing that I do like, it's kind of forced into the situation is that I need less, um, that I, I don't collect as much. Mind you, it's the summer. Summer clothes are often smaller than winter clothes. And for myself, I love the winter and fall with sweaters and all that. So most definitely my fall winter wardrobe is larger, but I, I don't need much space for my summer wardrobe. I have um, like 11 like little cabinets, shelves and whatnot. Um, I'm only using five of the 11. 
So I'm only using like half of the space that uh, they mindfully designed uh, for storage in, in, in units. So that's brilliant. That works great for me for the summer, maybe not during the winter. Um, one thing that though doesn't work as well during the summer is cooking. My cooking is very limited here, not just with the smells that I've mentioned before. Um, like I'm not cooking anything spicy. Um, and I, I'm trying to cook things that won't produce heat. It gets very warm. I have a massive window. Um, all the light comes in during the afternoon and evening. So I don't want to cook in a space that's just already hot. Uh, if anything, I'm actually going out to eat, which is nice in a way, except I am having a harder time controlling what I'm eating. So that's, that's the trade off there. Like, you know, I can't cook here, so I'll go out and eat. Or actually I do make things like salads and sandwiches and things that can be like eaten cold or without cooking. So that's nice, but I'm not doing that as much, even though I probably should, but that's a whole nother story. Uh, and actually this leads me to what, what I like about the place is it gets me outside. I am exploring the area more. Um, if it's hot, I mentioned, you know, I might go out and eat. I might also go biking or swimming. It's Victoria. Both of those things are beautiful to do in the city. There's so much to see. There's so many museums and gardens um, and other attractions that I have been enjoying. So hooray for the space for actually getting me out. I feel if it was like even at a hotel, <laughs> even though hotels are like for like going out and seeing a city, hotels are much bigger than the space. Um, at least the ones that, that I've been into and I, I sometimes just stay in the hotel because I'm like, oh, I'm just going to chill because that's vacation for me, just chilling. But a vacation really should be in a new city, going exploring it. So I, I've seen a lot of the city and it's a beautiful city to boot. Bumps, scratches, and scars. I have three scars for each month that I've been here. Sorry, I have three scars for the three months that I've been here. So uh, a scar a month. And uh, it's just because the space is small. Sometimes these scars and scratches and bumps happen at night when, when you would think, you know, because you know, you're not aware of your space, uh, you walk into things. No, it happens during the day as well. I have, I also have scars that I don't know, like, I, can you see this one here? Wait, where is it? There, right there. See that? I have no idea how it happened. It just happened. I'm, I'm guessing it might've happened uh, against that little um, door handle, metallic door handle. It's just, you have very little space. And if you're a larger individual, you will bump, scratch and scrape more. Uh, so keep that in mind. Maybe I could see like dancers doing really well in my whole apartments, but <laughs> other people who are clumsy like myself, we will struggle. Um, and finally, the one, the last thing that I like, but I also, really don't like about this space. Um, it makes me really miss home, but it also gives me a great appreciation for my home. Um, again, this is 250 square feet. My home is like 10 times larger than this space. So when I go there, go home, I, I recognize how luxurious it is and how grateful I am and how much I have appreciated the experience living here because it has given me a new, lens or maybe i shouldn't say new lens because i already knew this but a fresher lens on the space that i do have so i'm very grateful for that <laughs> anyways that was five things that i like and dislike almost even hate about this space because i don't like the fact that i have all these scars now oh they should be temporary so that's one thing